Halsey's bad at love, I'm bad at makeup. Hey, I'm Alana and welcome to Style Trial, the series where we test out celebrity brands and trends IRL. Today, it's all about face because we've got our hands on Halsey's brand new makeup line. And joining me for this style trial is fellow Halsey fan and makeup maven, Allie. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. I do love makeup and I also love Halsey because she is from New Jersey and so am I. So I feel like we are kindred spirits. So you and I have both picked an actual Halsey look that we're gonna attempt to recreate yeah. today using yeah. entirely about face products. So my photo is this beautiful selfie. I think for both of us, we're gonna be taking kind of like creative liberties. We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna try my hardest to recreate this, maybe with a little bit of a different color story, but we're gonna try. Yeah, exactly. Trial and error. I picked um, another Instagram of Halsey's and it's this incredible sort of negative space eyeliner look. Um, I've never actually tried doing this on myself, but I've been obsessed with it since I started watching Euphoria recently. Um, oh. I'm a little late to the Euphoria train, but obsessed with all of the beauty looks on the show. And um, she really nailed it with this. So let's see if I can come close to doing it justice myself. Okay, so the first product that I think we gotta talk about are the shadow sticks. Halsey released, I think, eight shades to start. And each one of them, they come in really crazy colors. There's some neutrals, but also, you know, you've got your white and your black, but also a neon blue. You've got this sort of acid green color. And yeah. this is what it looks like. And what's really fun and I didn't discover until recently when I was playing around with it, is that there's a built-in sharpener in the back. And I also like how they have different finishes. So some of them are like this blue one is a matte blue, mm -hmm. but then this pink one is, it's called, I think, pearl. Yeah, pearly, that's the finish. So some of them have a different um, texture, which is really cool for different look. So what I'm gonna do to start is take the white color, which is a matte one called Oxide, and I'm going to attempt to draw on this sort of wing that Halsey's wearing. So for mine, what I'm gonna do is take actually the two blues, first the matte one, which is called Creature, and then the pearly blue, which is called 2002, because in the photo, my photo reference, it's kind of a shimmery blue, so I'm gonna mix to, I'm, I'm just going for it. Shadow stick success. So what was your experience like using this? Did you? I liked it. I thought it was, I wasn't expecting them to blend out as easily as they did. And I just used my finger mm -hmm. uh, for the the more strong colored blue. Mm -hmm. So it blended really nice. What I will say is that when I layered the two, I, I noticed that the bottom one kind of started moving. It was mm -hmm. kind of picking up what was on um, the bottom, but that could have been a me thing that I wasn't doing it correctly. Right. Uh, and I do know that the actual liquid eyeshadows, those are supposed to be really, really good for mixing. So maybe yes. that's something I should have, you know, those are probably more user-friendly for that kind of thing. Yeah, I um, underestimated the staying power of these. So I, as somebody with hooded lids, I'm so used to liners budging and smudging. Um, but when I messed up this side of the eyeliner and tried to wipe it away with my finger, like blend it away, had to get had to get my makeup wipe. <laughs> it stayed put. In addition to the shadow sticks, which are kind of like the eyeshadow crayons, Halsey also released the matte fluid eye paints, which come in six different shades, cost twenty four dollars, and are billed as a one swipe eye paint that delivers rich buildable pigment and locks onto the skin for a creamy and smudge free finish. Um, I think they're really cool. The colors are beautiful and just taking them out. So it's like a matte packaging, which I think is nice. Yes. Um, it's easy to tell like what you're gonna get. And Almost looks like little Legos. Yeah, the color match, you know what I mean? Like this color, what you see inside is pretty similar to what you see on the outside mm -hmm. of the bottle. It's helpful when you're trying to like grab a color or something. So I'm gonna use mostly um, Dionysus, which is like a purplish, pink mm. um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna mix it a little bit with I'm gonna kind of mix all of these together the two neutral browns and the white just to brighten it up a little bit and then if I'm feeling crazy I think I'm gonna take another one of the shadow sticks and go over it a little bit oh I love that maybe what I'll try is 
using um, a little bit of the white shade, which is called white noise, to kind of go over the shadow stick, just to see how it like makes it pop. Wow, you can really tell the difference. Yeah, no, you can really see it, huh? Okay, so I, as I said, like my, the colors are a little off, but I got this like purpley mauvey brown kind it looks of. looks really pretty. And I'm gonna take this, which is, a uh, chaos theory and kind of go over it and blend them get together. Moving on to lips. First step, we've got the matte fix it lip pencil, which comes in six different shades and is billed as a glide on matte liner that defines the lip border for seven hours. And of interest to me as somebody with super dry skin and even drier lips is the fact that it's made with vitamin C and E as well as hyaluronic acid. So I tend to steer clear of lip liners in general, just because they leave my lips look even looking even like flakier than when I started. Um, so I'm interested to see if these are any different. So I think I'm probably going to use pink in the morning and a little bit of cradles on the outside. So the one I'm using is called Madness. To be fair, it's a lip liner. So if you're, I mean, you're, you're not supposed to, I guess, use it all over your lips, which I kind of did, but it is clinging to the, like the drier sections of like the inside of my lips. And you can pair them with the matte painted lip colors, which have different shade names, but I have a sneaking suspicion that they're actually exact matches for the liners. Um, because at least to my untrained eye, they look identical. To that end, gonna use Take Aim, which appears to be the sister lipstick for the liner I chose. So I'm gonna, again, be a little bit difficult and I'm gonna mix. We love it. So Long Summer, just like a little tiny bit of it. Oh, I love that name. And Ask Nicely. It's minty. Oh yeah. This definitely has peppermint in it. Okay. And I like it. This is actually, mm, shockingly, not that drying. <laughs> Minimal, super minimal. You probably can't even see yeah, it. Yeah, I can barely even see it. And maybe that's, it just didn't dry quite there. Like this is. Yeah, it's impressive, I have yeah. to say. So now we are moving on into the Light Lock collection of products that were part of this about face drop. We're gonna start with the Light Lock Gloss, which is described as buttery, hydrating, non-sticky, but shimmery. So I'm okay. really excited to try this. It comes in four different colors. So what I think I'm going to use is the gloss in such great heights. Oh, isn't that song? my favorite song? Yeah. Shout out to the Postal Service. The postal Service. I'm going to go with Prelude, which is this sort of shimmery opalescent white. Um, and P.S. The packaging for the Light Lock products is so pretty. <laughs> this like prismatic sort of pink holographic packaging. If not sticky. Mm -hmm. My lips certainly feel better after using this, uh, more hydrated. As far as lip glosses go, I really like this. It doesn't look, you know, super plasticky like some, you know, glosses tend yeah. to. I think we've arrived at the product I'm probably most excited about, which is the Highlighter Trio. There are three different highlighter options. Halsey wants you to glow. First up, we have Light Lock Powder, which is a compact. There's also Light Lock Liquid. So you can kind of pick the consistency that you prefer for your highlighting experience. As well as Light Lock Stick, which is sort of a twist up and glide on product. Okay, so first I tried the Stay In Bed Powder Compact which uh, delivered kind of a more subtle effect than I had imagined. For some reason, I was you know, picturing like super high beam highlight, but maybe I'll go over it with a little bit of the liquid to make it pop. I like, I like a stronger highlight. Okay, so we put on our own mascaras because Halsey hasn't offered one yet. We are done with our looks. Ali, final thoughts. What were your favorite products, your least favorites? Um, overall, are you into About Face? I am. I was really into it. I think if I had to pick my top three products, I would say the liquid eyeshadows because they are less intimidating than what you think they are and they're easy to blend and they dry down. The highlighters, I can't decide 
it's a tie between the cream and the powder and the lip liners, which were super creamy and stayed put, which I love. I am really feeling the shadow sticks. I just love the ease of application. They're like a little more approachable for someone like myself to use. Um, love the color variety. I really liked the liquid highlighter as well as the stick. Um, I thought both formulations were really nice and creamy, buildable, um, delivered like major gleam. Yeah. And I also really liked the lip gloss, shockingly. Not a <laughs> lip gloss gal, but this is one of the better ones I've used recently. I liked the mintiness of it. I liked the fact that it wasn't sticky and it also oddly doubled as a balm, at least in my experience. Like, you know, the dryness that I was feeling before I applied it has kind of quieted down. It melded all the lip products together really nicely. Um, and you just like can't beat this packaging. It's, it's so good. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you back soon for another style trial. Bye.